page, which is, I guess, and uh, grade it out. Oh, my bad. It has to be at the orb. And get back at the center, which is here. Right there. And grade it out. Alright, so we got that going on. But let's get our um, pattern overlay going on for it. So let's put it to that. Put it to 40. 50. Put it around 50. And um, let's get a good um, inner shadow on it. So take the distance down, bring the choke up, and the size in. So this wants to be pretty far in there. Um, I'm just trying to get the best um, alright so that looks about good eh. maybe I don't know what it's missing it needs to be going in further I think what do you guys think Further, I think so too. Uh, whatever, that's good. Okay, and um, let's finally add a texture to it. So let's open up my stuff, and then this is my favorite texture right here. So I'm just gonna put it here. Press Control A, Control C. Close it back up. Control V, Control T, Alt. Um, zoom it out. Just change the thing so it's like that. And now I'm going to set it to an overlay. So now I've got that cool. All right. So I'm going to save it as PNG. And go to the desktop. Now we can close out a photo. Alright, so minimize this and it is here. So let's drag it into Adobe After Effects, put it into the project media. It's right there, we can just drag it right here and um, make it the composition size. So take it down a notch on this side. Alright, so that's about the size it needs to be at, so... Um, now, let's go into adding some cool text. So, we could put text right here, and I'm just going to put Skitscape, and of course you can put what you want, because it's your stuff. And I'm going to choose this to resize it. Be sure to grab the top right, otherwise it does some weird resizing. I'm going to put it here. And how about we have a good, the same font that we used in our profile picture icon. So let's use most wasted. All right. So again, need to scale it up a bit. All right. So that looks good. Now um, I'm gonna add a couple effects to it. So we go to the effects and the presets. Um, these are I just know them already. So I'm gonna choose the drop shadow, and I'm going to put it and drag it onto here. I'm going to bring the distance up. But <coughs> ah, sorry. Um, bring it to there and take the opacity to 100 and softness up to 15 just because it's a nice round number. Alright, so that looks good. I'm also going to add a ramp. So just type in R-A-M-P and drag it onto the text. Now, the, this does it to the drop shadow, so what you want to do is bring the drop shadow below the ramp. That way you can have both. So I don't want it as gray and light gray, as nice as it does look. Um, I'm going to put it at um, true red, so 255, 255, and I mean, not red, but yellow. and I'm going for the first color, and for the next one, I'm going to put it at a good orange, very bright orange. 
and this red. Okay, now um, this isn't exactly what we want yet. So we want to bring the where the ramp starts. So we want to bring it right here for the yellow, and for the orange, let's bring it to right here. Maybe closer like that. Okay. You want them to be pretty much lined up with each other. So I'm actually going to bring it down. Uh, down. There we go. Uh, Alright, so like that. That looks really nice. And I like it a lot. So now um, this is all stuff you can already do with After Effects. But if we want to spice it up a bit, we're going to have to use a thing called uh, Twitch by Video Code Palette. Now, I'm not going to give any insight on how to get it, but I can tell you that there's various YouTube tutorials on how to get it and for free. So, um, we're going to add a video copilot Twitch. And so, for this one, I'm going to bring it to the top. Just because it's so much awesomer than everything else. And I'm going to minimize this stuff so it's not getting in the way. So, um,. In Adobe After Effects, if you don't know, there's stopwatches. This is what enables uh, things to happen, and uh, you learn your way around how they work really quickly. So, um, specifically for Twitch, we have to use the Enable tab. So, uh, we're going to check, for this one, I'm going to check Time, Scale, and Blur, and Slide. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of making a square box. So to fix this, we want to turn 3D layers on. So all we have to do is click this right here. And that way it uh, looks good. So now um, I'm also going to add Twitch to the background. But the background won't get as much Twitch. Um, and it won't get the scale either. So we're going to go uh, Twitch. Alright, so add that to the background, and I'm going to enable these two just like I did with the text. I'm going to change it to blur, and s scale, now time, and uh, I guess slide. Alright, so as you can see it's uh, like really like whoosh, but I'm going to give you guys a little video preview, render preview, so you can see kind of what it's like. But as you can see, it's kind of going with it, the whole thing. So, it's not exactly what we want. Uh, unless it is what you want, which, in, in which case, uh, that's good for you and you're all done. But for me, I'm going to make it so that uh, the background is different from the text and it's not sliding with it. So, um, in behavior, I'm going to... Um, or operator controls, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to minimize blur, color, light, scale. Alright, for slide, I'm going to change the angle. Oh my god, I hate that. Slide. I'm going to change the angle a bit so that it is different from that of the text. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So as you can see, um, it's uh, kind of different, but it's still doing it at the same time. And that looks pretty cool. Um, now, something that really spices up the whole look of things is if you add uh, motion blurs to the, uh, stop playing! Alright, if you add motion blurs to the whole thing. So, um, you can do that by clicking this button, and then this button. Now, I will warn you that this, um, drastically uh, increases the amount of rendering time uh, and even sometimes will or disable you from rendering it. So, um, But it does make it look a whole lot nicer. Now, um, I don't know, but it doesn't show you very much, but over time it twitches less and less. Or it should. Um, so if you want, you can go into these and make sure that um, they twitch differently, so or will they end eventually, so that people can actually get a chance to look at what your uh, text says. So um, let's get Twitch, and then let's get Twitch on this one. <laughs> 